So a lot of people have been wondering, what is the best legendary storm setup for legendary PVP in the game right now? I've been getting this question a lot. I'm not going to lie in game, in the comment section, in my discord, uh, which the link to that will be in the description. It, it always is, but I've been getting asked this question a lot. And I think it's time to go ahead and lay on the table. Um, in my personal opinion, the stats, the gear setup, and the deck setup for, I think, the best legend class, um, at least if you're playing the new meta in the game, because I really don't see a really good legendary storm losing to any other class, but maybe balance if they're lore spamming or ice if they're running the crafted gear, in which case they have like 66 plus resist to uh storm and fire but other than that storm is pretty dang deadly at legendary and you don't really see many um legendary ices in queue or tournaments for that matter and balances are kind of fluent but i mean if you get them most of the time you'll be able to take them out even when they're lore spamming you so um without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the gear and deck setup of the video so uh, the hat you're going to be wanting is dropped from the final boss in the House of Scales. If you don't have this, uh, then just run Waterworks for the time being. But I do, 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 do suggest you run House of Scales until you get the hat and the robe that are dropped from the same final boss. But the drop rates are kind of ass. So um, do farm at the risk of your own sanity. There will actually be people that will tell you stories of them running House of Scales and them running over 50 or 40 plus times and not getting the desired piece of gear that they want so again farm at your own risk or the risk of your own sanity i should say um so with that being said the boots are dropped from the final boss in the waterworks dungeon everybody knows the waterworks dungeon or at least you should if you've um if you have a level 100 or i, I mean if, like if you play the game you should know where the waterworks dungeon is so that's self-explanatory but the wand is dropped from the immortals lore pack in the crown shop it was on sale uh, but it's not anymore i was planning to drop this video when it was on sale so i could send the video like yo pop you know pop a couple packs right now because if you don't they're gonna go off sale monday but uh it's already tuesday when i'm uploading this so rip but yeah this is the wand that i use uh, again it is dropped from the immortals lore pack in the crown shop it is 399 crowns um, the RNG on the wand for the drop is actually pretty good because on my balance account in one day I popped over 50 packs trying to get the fire wand um, I got nothing but four myth wands and nine of these Queen Calypso wands I didn't get one fire wand out of 50 plus packs. So um, If your RNG is even decent, I'd say you'll maybe get three of these in 20 <laughs> so Start popping. But anyways, that is the wand. This can be interchangeable with three things. I would say this, the Sky Iron Hosta, and the Staff of the Flashing Blades. But it all depends on your playing style as a Legendary Storm. But Storm is kind of an offensive class, so I would want to run with this rather than the Staff of the Flashing Blades. If you can't get this, then I would just run with Sky Iron. I mean, like all the more damage to you and it's not really that bad and the wand is fire so if you get weakness or lore mastered you can just wand that crap off so uh, but again it's up to your play style and how you play uh legendary pvp but uh, that is the wand the duelist fatal razor and the ring is the daredevil ring are the two uh athenes and rings i am rocking now you have the option to do tournaments before you go into ranked obviously because the tournaments are for gold so I really don't see why you wouldn't just, you know, do them off the bat before you go into ranked. But in case you just want a starter a theme and starter ring for whatever reason, um, there are level 56 a themes that they sell in the bazaar. Now the a theme I will tell you right now is insanely hard to get. It's rarely in there, but it gives amazing damage and, ama and amazing power pit percent, and I believe a little bit of block as well. Or that might be the ring, but. If you can grab the, the level 56 a theme in the bazaar, they consider yourself pretty lucky because it's a pretty rare drop in the bazaar. Um, you know, again, if you get it, great to you. Um, if you don't, I'm not really sure what else you could do. Just maybe craft the level 56, I believe it is, um, a theme in Winter Tusk that gives um, in and out and damage. I mean. 
it's you know something is better than nothing but uh the ring i believe is always in the bazaar there's like always 100 of those rings so go ahead and pick yourself up a level 56 uh storm ring in the bazaar it gives amazing power pick and amazing damage for um a level 56 ring uh for storm anyways and that will cover those the amulet is actually a bit of a story so do you bear with me while i tell it so the berserkers rage pendant is i believe the best amulet at legendary since it is level 68 that you can get for any school that isn't running a life mastery or a damage uh, amulet from uh from lower zigzag because um this amulet is is really good on health and it gives an enchant which storm can abuse the crap out of because storm has mass hits in their deck so the more mass enchants you have the more you can just discard 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 then pull an enchant slap somebody for like 2k then finish them off with a storm bats like you know what i'm saying so the more enchants you have the better it is and the more health you have the more you can tank so this amulet gives the best of both worlds literally and this amulet i believe um is dropped from the final boss the zebra boss in the black palace now you do have to do the Zafaria quest line to get to the Black Palace. So if you are wanting to get this amulet, please be careful how far you go into Winter Tusk because you will need Insane Ball as a legendary storm. I can tell you that. Um, it will win you the majority of matches that you might that the match might be not in your favor, and then you just insane bolt critical or just insane bolt and it goes through their storm shed shield because it's it's a uh, moon damage and it just wins the match for you. RNG right there. But, um, I would suggest being careful how much you go, like, far into, uh, Winter Tusk so that you don't over-level. And then, you know, just doing Celestia and then just doing Zafaria and getting this amulet. And also, if you can, without crossing over into level 70, um, going ahead and training Colossal. Because you are going to need it for tournaments and ranked sometimes if you are going to compete with other people that have uh, a tad bit more resist and also grandmasters that like to set to, set to storm if you guys saw my last video so um you know the more damage the better especially if you don't have a triple double pet uh with socketed three damage or anything around there so that's always good but yeah the amulet is dropped from the final boss in the black palace dungeon um, if you aren't going to go through the Zafaria quest line to get this amulet from the Black Palace, then, um, well, I'm not going to go there, but there are some amulets that Diego sells, and they have health and set shields. If, I mean, I haven't bought one, but if there's any that give, like, a decent amount of health and a volcanic or thermic shield, especially thermic, um, get that one, because it's, like, insanely good, because Storm and Ice are really going to F you over if um, you get them. So you want to be able to insta set to them uh, while also having an amulet that gives a bit of health. And I believe they give sockets as well. So that's always good for flat resist and uh, whatever ails you. But uh, that is the amulet. Uh, the pet is going to be different for every person. Or I don't know, you might just have the same pet as me. But uh, this is my pet for my legendary storm. It's triple double with six socketed because I got pain bringer. Uh, instead of storm giver but either way i would have socketed the other one so uh doesn't really matter and then uh the deck that i have one can actually be crafted right here in celestia um there's a guy over here in the floating lands i'll just go to him real quick but uh he sells the recipe for this craftable deck and it's really good because it allows you to pack a lot of storm cards seven max copies of storm and five max copies of any other card that you want pretty much um, and this, these craftable decks are really good for any school of PvP at Legendary, really. Because they're level 55, and they're just really good. Also, they have a triangle socket, so that's, like, the best thing about it. So, uh, this guy right here, he sells all the recipes to be able to craft any of the decks that you want. Just go to decks, and you can see all of them. And they all give a triangle socket, so overall really good. Actually, believe it or not, this isn't the best Legendary Storm deck in the game. So as of right now, I'm not the undisputed best. I have the best stats, but there's one stat, and that comes from the deck that I am missing that I can't get because the drop is insane. Um, but when I do achieve or obtain that deck, I should have said, I will update you guys in the next Storm PvP video. But 
Um, if you aren't going to farm for that deck in specific, then definitely come out here and craft it. Because this deck is like the second best legendary deck that you can get that you don't have to craft or... I mean, well, you do have to craft it, but you don't have to farm for it or, you know, do any of that other crazy stuff. So, this is the definite um, go-to deck for quick legendary PvP if you don't want to farm for anything else. So... Uh, that will cover the gear setup for Legendary Storm. Now let's get into the deck setup. So, um, the deck is pretty much self-explanatory. I have three stun blocks, uh, one, two, three, four, five tower shields, because you want to be able to tower shield at any given moment. Um, max Colossals. If you don't have Colossals, then just put in max Gargantuans and then replace the Gargantuans with Monstrous. So just have max, um, Max Gargs and then Max Monstrous, or not Max, but wait, is it Max? Is it Max? Yeah, okay, it is. So, Max uh, Colossus and Gargantuans or Max Gargantuans and Monstrous. Uh, I do suggest you train Infowl because if you don't pull a TC Infowl, you want to be able to discard and pull an Infowl next turn. Um, because people are going to have resist, obviously, and you want to be able to pierce that as much as possible to get the most damage done in a small amount of time, so... Enfile is definitely needed one way or another. Uh, the infections, in case you are first or second and you're going to hit with a big hit and you know the person has life mastery or they might have an insane amount of incoming and outgoing, just pop that infection and smack them and then if they don't predict it the round you um, infection, then you're pretty much good because then you can just smack them with a lightning bass or something if you don't feel pip and that should be the game. But that is uh, what the infections are for. The bubbles. Now, this is where the metagame comes in, because a lot of Storms don't utilize Bubble. I don't know why, because Storm tends to have the most damage for any class, but if you use your Bubble, and you use it at a safe point in your match, that is 25 extra damage that you are whopping on the opponent through whatever shield or, you know, if they don't even have a shield up. You're just, like, it's 25 extra damage, and that's a lot if you're using an enchanted card. And on top of that, they have a bubble to worry about. So if they're myth, they're discarding like hell to get rid of that bubble. So you're making them choke and panic while you, while you have a free damage bubble up. And you're just smacking them while they're like discarding, like looking for shields to stall for a bubble. So overall, the store metagame, for legendary at least, really good on bubbles. Pack mass bubbles. Um, so that's that. The Insane Bolt's pretty self-explanatory. If you're losing, pop an Insane Bolt, win the game, lose the game. I mean, either way, it's GG. Uh, the Leviathans are also pretty good if someone is wanting to Blade Stack against you. Like, just go for the straight Blade Stack, no shield, then just pop a Leviathan, boom. Oh, all your Blades gone, so... That's that. Storm Bats, obviously, is going to be your go-to for spam attacks if they are using set shields and whatnot. Uh, also pretty good on damage if you want to combo like storm bats into queen calypso uh, is a really good combo but if you don't have queen calypso replace all of these with krakens because kraken nonetheless is a really good four pip storm spell and does mass damage um four storm lords because if you get the storm lord and a gargantuan or a colossal uh and you pop that thing off and they don't have a stun shield i mean a stun block not stun shield um and then you can combo into a Storm Bats or an RNG uh, Wild Bolt. That's the game, obviously. Um, the Storm Prisms, people were asking me why I had Storm Prisms in my deck. If someone set shields, right, and then they go for a Blade next turn, um, the round they go for a Blade, like, like say you're first, right? Say you're first because, I mean, who doesn't want to be first? Um, you can pop a Prism on them. Say they have like 1,200 health, right? They're like, oh, if I set shield, I'm good. He can't kill me. Pop a prism, pop a triton. They're they're gone. They're it, like lights out, dude. Like you're gone. Um, thought a set shield could save you, but it didn't. So that's what the prisms are for. They are more of a clutch factor um, than anything, and that's why I only have two in because I can just get off a set shield with a wild bolt or a storm bat. So if I do pull this in a close game situation. Pop a prism and just whop them with something and they're dead. Like, set shields can't really save you if you have these. Um, so, again, clutch factor. Uh, now on to the mass thermic shields. As I said before in the video, fire and ice can really screw you over if you get these classes from second. So, uh, put in mass of these because you can spam them and fire can't really do anything about it. They're forced to overtime you and... Um, I mean, the more pips they waste... 
and the more pips you don't waste by spamming thermic shield because it's zero pips and it's minus 70 to ice and fire um you know it's 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 all the more power to you so that's that the storm snakes are for again clutch game situation if you do fail pip and they have low enough health for this to kill um it can also be great for getting off set shields if you don't pull a prism or whatnot so storm snake is overall a really good spell and you want to have this in main and tc uh the tritons are just for just straight damage and the wall bolts are for rng and getting off uh set shield so that is the main deck uh oh actually uh this deck okay i'm pretty sure this is what it was last time so um, stuns are self-explanatory for needing to stall for a round and getting a combo off. Um, you want to have mass towers because again, you want to be able to tower ASAP whenever. So just like start discarding and pop a tower if you need to, to, uh, save yourself from a lore master or a weaver or whatnot, a brimstone even. Um, so that's that. The infowls, obviously you want to have infowl on before you hit, unless the person does not have that much resist and you know that for a fact. Um, bubbles are for if you are discarding bubbles and they start to bubble war, then you can just pull from TC, pop a 35, and then smack them before they get a chance to change it. Uh, the insane bolts are again for clutch moments. Storm bats, you want to have four in because they're really good for spamming and getting off set shields. Uh, the Queen Calypso, you only want to have three, or if you don't have Queen Calypso, then just replace these with three Kraken. But, uh, if you do have Queen, then put only three in because, um... You have like five in main so you don't really need all that much inside and since the the highest enchant that you can get for tc is gargantuan your uh colossal enchanted krakens and uh queen calypsos will be doing more than your tc and i've been failing to realize that while doing my videos some of you may have noticed that i chose to tc calypso instead of um Colossal Enchanted Calypso when Colossal Enchanted Calypso does more So that's bad on my part. I will recognize that next time and go for the Colossal, but uh, That is pretty much what the Krakens slash uh, Calypsos are for uh, the Stormlord is just in there for whatever purpose I mean you can take this out and put in an extra Queen Calypso or Kraken or take it out and put in an extra snake an extra bolt an extra Triton or uh what I will soon be doing a storm. What is it called? Hold on. Um, storm owl. That's what it is. Right, right here. If you tower shield or you infowl first turn, right, or second turn or third turn, and then you shield, 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 and they do nothing but hit off your shield every round, and then you maybe have a bubble up or maybe have enough pips to storm owl. And you have a hundred damage or more. This is killing them, dude. I want to get a match where I do nothing but infowl, shield, 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 and then storm out them for all of their health in one hit. That would be the funniest match I think I would ever do. But um, yeah, basically replace the storm lord for anything, or just put in a storm lord for whatever reason. Because if you can't pull a normal storm lord and an enchant, then just pull from TC and you get it. And that's the GG if they don't have a sunblock on. Uh, Storm Snakes, again, good for getting offset shields and um, killing if you have a bubble up and they have low health. Maybe you have an infall on as well. Who knows? Tritons, again, mass damage and then bolts for getting off tower set shields and pure RNG killing. And that, I believe, is going to wrap up the video. I apologize if this video was way too long. I'm really bad at recording videos that aren't... Um, that aren't commentary so if that is the only reason why you watch this video you can go ahead and click off here because now i want to talk to you guys a little bit about some new possible content on the channel those of you who have been playing like mmos like wiz and stuff for a long time maybe runescape who knows um might know of the game called pirates of the caribbean online um if you don't know then i mean if you want to keep listening go ahead but um, that game is actually being brought back, and I was thinking, you know, while it was getting brought back, like, what other games might you guys want to see other than Wiz? Like, obviously, my channel is going to be a strict Wiz channel, uh, you know, until Wiz dies, because at that point, you can't play the game anymore, it's shut down, you know, it's, it's not making money, and, and nobody can play it, but what other games would you guys want to see, like, besides Wiz? Like, say, like, one day, I can upload Wiz, and then another game. 
like what would that game like what would that game be like what would you guys want to see would you guys want to see some pirates online would you guys want to see some minecraft would you guys want to see well i don't really want to do minecraft because it's kind of played out but i mean it's an option i guess if i can get some other people to play maybe kyle maybe jay i don't really know if they want to play minecraft or even own the game because it is like 20 dollars i think um but just in general what other games would you guys want to see me play no like major titles like gta or whatever um that costs like you know 60 dollars but what like mini games or like scary games could i play that you guys would actually enjoy and not just be like oh it's not a wiz video i'm not gonna watch it so if you have any ideas or any suggestions let me know in the comment section below but that is going to be it for this video guys thank you if you have watched till the end but for now it's going to be jam giving you all the sign out i'll see you guys next time peace